Hi everyone, this is Carson and Peter McPhail with Lifestyle Properties Maine. Dad, what are we looking at today? Glad you asked, bud. Uh, we are actually going to look at a truly Maine-made lakefront cottage, a hidden gem in Lakeville. And I say truly Maine-made lakefront cottage because the lumber, and uh, the trees that were cut to make the lumber from this were all cut from the seller's property down in Wells, Maine. So exceptionally unique that portion plus the architectural style and it's just a lot of love and care and just very well built lakefront cottage. And Lakeville, Maine is a very interesting town in Penobscot County because the population is only around a hundred people so it's a private private town isn't it? It is. You are not gonna see a lot of people in Lakeville but what you will see there is there's tons of recreational opportunities four seasons whether it's fishing on many of the lakes right there because you you do eventually you can have access to grand lake chain you mm -hmm. can uh we're gonna go to lombard lake today but there are other lakes that you can launch in so fishing swimming hiking mountain biking atv snowmobiling you name it it is a uh, recreational destination but it's very well hidden away not a lot of people so let's head out and take a look so we just left lincoln we're about the cottage is about 40 minutes outside of lincoln we turned off the town maintained paved Bottle Lake Road onto the Association Dill Valley Road. And Dill Valley Road, it is an association road, so the association does maintain it. Uh, those fees are about $200 a year, but it's not typically plowed during the winter, so. No, we've got about three miles of road to go in. So if you wanna utilize it in the winter time, either you plow three miles of road or you just park out here and take a snowmobile in, yeah. that's all. So. Or snowshoe, if you're more ambitious. Three miles of snowshoe, and that's, no, that's <laughs> ambitious, man. So we came across the Dill Valley Road, which takes us through Dill Valley, which is a beautiful hardwood forest. And then we're turning two miles in, turning onto the Spalding Pond Road, and that's gonna take us into two ten Spalding Pond. So we've arrived here at the property. The property starts at the base of Lombard Mountain. Your elevations here range from 480 feet above sea level to 780 feet above sea level. And how the property acreage wise is broken up, you have four acres on the lake side, and then the rest of that eight acres is going right up, is it going right up the mountain pretty much? It goes right up the, the side of the mountain, not quite no. to the peak. But if you like a strenuous hike, that's the place to go. Hey guys, we're gonna head down to the cottage here in a minute, but hey, a couple of really, stay tuned, because there's a couple of really cool features you guys have to see. There's what we're gonna call, the sellers call Cocktail Rock and Coffee Dock. Let's go check it out. Hi everyone, so we've arrived here at Cocktail Rock. We have westerly sun, beautiful sunsets out here. Yeah, the sunsets here will be spectacular. A great place to unwind. And right now it is mid, -week, mid uh, first week in September and it's gotta be mid 80s. But the owners have a really cool spot just inside the shoreline, a couple of lounge chairs in the shade that you can take advantage when it's this hot. So either go swimming or go sit there in the uh, in the shade. Hey everyone, so we just came into the shade off of Cocktail Rock. As we said, it's a quite the sunny day out. So a little bit about Lombard Lake. It's nice and quiet and peaceful. It is 277 acres with a maximum depth of about 38 feet. Yeah, and the fish in here, I guess the key takeaways, like you said, Carson, it is extremely quiet. I mean, we've been here this afternoon, haven't even seen a boat. The oh. loudest thing we've heard on this lake is our drone taking photos, to say the least, so. That and the beautiful sound of the wind just whispering through the, the pines here. Well, that's but not loud, that's peaceful. That is that's peaceful, nice. but the, you know, the fishing here, you're talking, you're gonna get some salmon, some brook trout, but you also have some white perch here. So canoe, kayak, you, if you've got a speedboat, folks, this isn't the lake for you. This is the place to come, peace and quiet, right? Yep. Let's head over and uh, take a look at Coffee Dock. So on our way over to Coffee Dock, the well, this is the pump that brings water in from the lake. And uh, you'll see that the cottage is serviced. There's underneath the cottage, there's a storage tank for the lake water, and that's used for showers and washing dishes. There's batteries there for the electricity and then there's a little generator plug to plug in a generator as well. So as you come into the back of the cottage here, we have a nice kitchen area and we have stainless steel countertops, propane four burner cook stove. And then we do have a, a propane, small propane fridge here as well. And one neat feature I wanted to point out to you, this 
this is a neat skylight and that actually has the inside of that tube is reflective. So all the sun coming through the roof, down through the second floor into the kitchen here. And there's times when that supplies pl plenty of light to see what you need to do here in the kitchen. So off the kitchen, we do have a three quarter bath with a composting toilet. The sink here and the rest of the sinks in the cottage are serviced by an engineered gray water system. There is a propane hot water heater. And then underneath this section of the cottage, the water, the water here is from the lake and there's a holding tank just underneath here, and it's pumped up in for the shower and the sink and, and whatnot. And also we do have a privy outside. So if you don't want to use a composting toilet, we have one of the nicest privies I have ever seen in the real estate business. Let's move on into the living room. So here in the living room, we have beautiful views of the lake, nice little breakfast area. The pine floors in here have and look like antique nails. So it's absolutely gorgeous. We do have a nice little wood stove here to heat with. And these owners have mostly used this in the summer, a little bit in the fall, but a beautiful spot here to enjoy the, the views of the lake. And then we do have a nice day bed here. And underneath the day bed, there's all kinds of storage space there as well. So I do want to show you out here onto the screen porch, really neat space, additional living space to utilize. So life truly is better here at the lake. So when you have your family gatherings, this is a great spot to come to. So you feel, feed the whole family, you have the screens here, but you still have some nice views out to the lake. And we do have a skylight here as well. So we have, do have, get a lot of natural light here in the cottage. We're gonna head upstairs now to the second floor to look at the bedrooms. So Carson, one of the really neat things that I like, uh, that built-in bookshelf right here at the base of the staircase. I mean, when you're at the, at the lake, you're gonna enjoy a good book, right? No, seriously. And you know what, as we walk around this place and look at the grounds, it was just all really well thought out. So this bedroom here, beautiful wood flooring, pine flooring. It's got a nice skylight. So we do have Anderson 400 series windows throughout the cottage. So just beautifully done. So here in this bedroom, this is where the skylight that I showed you in the kitchen. So that tube runs up through here, goes out through the roof. You'll see a little dome on the roof out there, but really, really neat. So we come across the catwalk to what I consider the master bedroom. Again, beautiful wood flooring here, nice skylight. And the, the best feature of this room to me, and Carson, I see you've already found it. It's the view, it's it the is, view. It is spectacular. I mean, you're looking out across this, the forest, the majestic trees here out to the, the water. It is absolutely beautiful spot. And before we leave the master bedroom here, one of the things I've really appreciated how well thought out the owner designed this cottage. The owners did a beautiful job. You've got this little corner table here. Between that and the, and the bookshelves, really took advantage of the space. Really? Beautiful. Let's head outside and look around. We'll talk about some of the, the structural out there and look at the workshop. Okay, so I wanted to show you some of the structural component here. The cottage sits on a uh, footing on grade. So this is 12 inches thick by about 24 inches high. So you poured concrete, you rebar. It is, it is rock solid inside. And then we have some, some vents here. You see another vent up in the front and around the front this vent. So you get some cross ventilation. And then I just want to point out, we had talked about that really cool skylight in the kitchen. And you can see that dome up there just below the, the chimney. That's the dome to the, to the skylight. Let's head over to the workshop. So here's the workshop, it's 12 by 24. Just to give you some perspective, this is a 16 foot boat plus, you know, plus a trailer here. Plenty of room for that. And another really neat feature about this workshop area is we have two storage lofts on either end. And so if you had a big crowd of people coming, you certainly could throw some people up there in sleeping bags, but really neat spot. I wanna show you guys, this uh, Carson, I'm gonna take you over and show you some massive pine trees and spruce trees, probably some of the biggest ones you'll ever see in the state. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, this is one of the king's pines. I mean, this tree is absolutely massive. And yes, I am a little bit of a tree hugger, but you have this lot here is just covered with massive pines, massive spruce. You've got a hemlock tree right here that, you know, these trees are a couple hundred years or better in age. Absolutely spectacular. Looks like a national forest here. What do you think, Carson? Pretty close, yeah. Pretty close, right? But close they're just beautiful. So Carson, tell me a little bit about distances from Lombard Lake, Lake Bill, Maine. 
So your closest shopping for like your groceries and stuff like that, that's going to be Lincoln. Lincoln is about 40 minutes away. They got your Walmart, Hannaford, a few restaurants, plenty of... Hospital. Hospital. Just in case, you never know. Yeah, yeah. And then further, just a bit further out, you are an hour and a half away from the city of Bangor. And then, of course, Bangor International Airport. And then five hours away is Boston. So It's a great location. So let's recap, folks. The cottage here, it was built in 2005. It's a two bedroom, one bath. And you do have the composting toilet here, plus the privy. And we have um, 12 surveyed acres with 368 feet on Lombard Lake. The asking price is 260,000. So give us a call today. We'd love to show it to you. And don't forget to like, subscribe. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Oh, did I, I forgot to mention, not only does this come with a beautiful little cottage and a pristine outhouse and workshop, your very own Hobbit house as well.